Hi guys, it's Tom. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is my first attempt on a video for the channel. Um, today I'm going to do a walk around of my car. Um, it's just a very special car to me. It's my dream car. Um, yeah, let's jump straight in. Here it is, guys. This is my grey 1992 Nissan Skyline R32 GTR. Originally imported from Japan in 2015. I'm the third UK owner. Um, the first one was a, a dealership or an import company, and the second one was another private um, owner who I bought it from. Um, this is the second car I've ever purchased. The first car was a Vauxhall Astra Mark IV with 99 horsepower, and then I jumped massively into this which has just over 300 um, it has stock power at the moment the boost pill has been taken out so I believe that's what 20 horsepower increase roughly until I get a dynode I won't know exactly how much it has but I'd like to know um, I've put some new wheels in there I've got some Bola B2Rs with some Yokohama Flever uh, tyres they're 18 by 8.5 they're okay I'm not 100% sure on them yet I don't know if I like them the fitment is well off though I need some wheel spaces ASAP they're like extremely sunk which I definitely need um, it has been lowered um, I'm not sure how much by but it's got some Bilstein uh, shocks and springs in there so I think they're like e back springs actually. Um, yeah, it's very, very clean. Very clean paint. I believe it has had a respray in Japan before it was imported. I don't think this is original paint. Um, I'm only saying that because I believe this car was sitting in the sun for years and years. Like the rubbers are starting to crack around the windows and on the passenger window. The rubber on the upper is starting to crack and fall apart. Interior is pretty clean. Stock too, other than floor mats and the Nardi steering wheel. And in Japan they installed this GTR 320k speedo gauge. Which I believe is worth quite a lot of money, I didn't even know. Because I thought this was like standard. I believe the other one goes up to like 180k or something. Dashboard isn't too bad, it's got a little dash bubble. Stock gauges. I've replaced the uh, rear window um, surrounds because they're all like falling apart, the level was coming off. So I replaced them. Uh, I got them from Trust Kikaku in Japan. Import fees were disgusting. <laughs> They're so expensive. Um, the rear window seals are replaced as well. The upper window seals I've replaced. They got new ones. Um, what else? Oh, it's got an aftermarket intercooler. It's got HKS intercooler, which I didn't know it was HKS because there's no label on it or anything, no logo. It's not till I looked on that Trust Kikaku uh, auction. It was exactly the same, and they said it was HKS. So. I'm going by what they say. Um, I replaced the badges as well because these didn't have the badges. We've got one on the bonnet, um, one on either front wing, the GT badges, and the rear Nissan badge I replaced too. I need to get a new GTR one because it's starting to starting to crack a little bit. Um, it's got a, a really cheap eBay exhaust at the moment. It was just to get me out of trouble. It's about 150 quid, but it doesn't sound too bad. And it, it fits quite nice, so. Let's have a look in here. See, the interior is pretty clean. The seat's got no, no holes in them or anything. In the glove box too, I've got this HKS um, insert which I got from S. Jerin on Instagram. 
Um, I'll put his uh, his Instagram page in the description. You go and check him out. He's got a lot of a lot of good stuff. Sorry about that, guys. I had a guy asking for directions. Um, so I've replaced the the levers on the uh, gear stick and the handbrake with just some generic eBay ones, just to clean it up a bit. Yeah, that's pretty much the interior. Let's, uh, let's open the bonnet. I do apologise if this is a bit shaky. This is my first YouTube video I've done. And I'm recording on my phone, which isn't ideal. Keeps overheating because it's quite warm at the moment. So there she is. RB26. Double overhead cam. Twin turbo. Very clean as well. Alright, let's put this. Awesome. Alright, so the oil filter relocation kit. I believe it's a Gready one. The oil filter cooler is down there in the bumper on the right side. It's a nice blue one. I don't know if you can see it. Just back there. Yeah, the original air box has been removed. I removed it and I put these HKS mushroom fills in there. Um, it's got a stock radiator, normal generic battery. I believe that's too small, so I might need to get a bigger battery. It is tiny, such a small battery for a big engine. Uh, it's got a strut bar on it. Um, I don't think it's, it's not Nisbar or anything like that. It's just a generic, cheap, cheap one from Japan. Yeah, I've resprayed. Uh, I've got someone to respray the rocker covers. Um, candy red, like they have in the R34. I'm not 100% keen on it. Um, I might spray it grey, the same as the the body. But uh, it'll do. For, it'll do for now. It's got the ceramic uh, turbines in the turbo still. I need to replace them with like uh, billet ones. Um, I've replaced the uh, coolant reservoir bottle and the washer bottle. Just little things I'm trying to trying to tidy up on the car. Yes, uh, yeah, it's really clean. I'm so glad I bought it. I couldn't believe like I bought this for my second car. I now I don't have the Astra anymore. I bought a Volvo instead, which you'll probably see later on in the channel when I'm doing some stuff. I need to replace the bearings on that. Uh, yeah, this car has stock brakes too, as you noticed. I need new discs and pads ASAP. And a uh, brake booster stopper as well, because the brakes are very spongy on this car. Like when you push the brake pedal hard, you can see the brake booster flexing on the firewall quite a lot. So I need to get that done ASAP. Um, I don't know when the timing belt was done, so I need to do that too. Um, what else? Oh, there's so much. I've done an oil change about seven months ago. I've only done about 1,500 miles. I'll probably have to do that again. Um, injectors, I want to increase. I believe these are like 600cc, I think, standard. Something like that. So I would like to increase them if I can. But I don't want to change too much. Because I want to keep the originality of the car. But I want it reliable. Um, so far it has been reliable. The only thing I've had is the um, front wheel arch like brake cooling duct that fell off and it smacked my other wheel. I had some Buddy Club uh, P1s on here, like 16 inch, and I just got them refurbished for the Auto Finesse um, breakfast meet. Coming back from that, I was doing about about 90, just cruising really, and it just fell off. I think one of the screws just fell out, got caught in the wheel and it was scraping and completely messed up the paint on that. So I need a new brake duct for the driver's side. Yeah, I'm really happy with the car. I've had it about three years now. I got it when I was 23. Um, I couldn't believe it when I bought it and got it home. It obviously needed work and the guy just wanted to get rid of it to, I don't know, maybe get another Japanese car. I don't know. Yeah, it's got 
it's got no rust on it it's very clean i was quite lucky actually because when i bought it i looked but i didn't really look i was just in such awe of the car and how it looks i didn't really i didn't really look for rust and stuff that i should have done like on the strut towers as well they're really rust they normally go rusty um on the side skirts underneath that um i didn't even look i just i was like right okay i'm, I'm buying this car this is perfect for me i don't daily this obviously i don't have the money to and i don't want to put stupid amount of miles on it yeah i want to keep it as clean as i can take it to shows enjoy it let other people enjoy it as well uh, there are some negatives to having this car though you get a lot of negative attention <laughs> it's not all negative but you get some you get people want to race you or the police eyeball you when you drive past and because it's loud too it is decatted um, just literally straight through it's got a jasma um well it had a jasma hks exhaust from japan the one that reaches the um, emission grade and sound regulation I still have that I, I haven't thrown anything away that I've replaced I've literally just kept everything so if you need a couple of parts that I've taken off I'll probably make a list or something just let me know and I'll sell them or something um, yeah I'm, I'm really happy with it yeah it does get a lot of neg negative attention like I was saying you get these Ford Fiestas and <laughs> Golf R's want to race you and I'm just like, nah, it's not worth it. A lot of the cars are probably faster than this because this is still stock, but because everyone that sees this thinks, oh, this car is stupidly fast, blah, blah, blah. But it's not worth it at the end of the day. Right, let's jump in the driver's seat and... When I got this, I just couldn't believe how heavy everything is. Steering, the clutch, I don't know, I think it's a twin plate clutch because it's so heavy. Not like I felt before, but I haven't driven a stock R32. This is the only one I've driven, so I don't know. Uh, the brakes are heavy and the throttle. Uh, gearbox fluid needs replacing ASAP because it is a little bit crunchy. It's a five speed. It hasn't been changed to an R34 six speed or anything. Uh, Nardi steering wheel, which I really like actually. It's not not as big as the original. I prefer the smaller steering wheel. It reminds me of the old go karting days. Well, this car does because everything is like analog as such. Like there's no um, there's no, like there's traction control. There's four wheel drive, but there's no like aids to help you drive. If you know what I mean. There's four wheels. It still has higher cast. The four wheel steering. Which I probably will remove. Because it is an absolute nightmare to maintain. Um, yeah everything is clean. Even like the headliner. The doors. I have replaced the dashboard. Because the other one was really bad. It was really faded. The only one with this one is. There's a slight bubble here. Which isn't that bad. And on this side, there's like a couple of little marks and stuff. Yeah. I can't, I couldn't believe when I bought this car, it had electric mirrors. A car that's older than me, I'm 25 and this is what, 27? 27, 28 years in June? So 28 years next month. And it has electric mirrors, I couldn't believe it. Let's, let's turn it on and try it. It's got a steering lock on it, I'd have to do it in a minute. But yeah, I couldn't believe it had electric mirrors, adjustable and fold in. Um, soon I would like to have some, uh, some gauges over here, maybe like oil pressure and oil temp, or maybe a boost gauge and oil temp, I'm not too sure. Um, I have a turbo timer I need to hook up. Um, electronic valve controller and I would like a four-wheel drive to two-wheel drive adjustment device I can't remember what it's called so you f flip a switch and you can adjust the like the 
drivetrain, so like there's more power from the rear than from the front. So you can do like burnouts and stuff like that. I won't do burnouts, but I would like to adjust it and see how, how well it drives. Um, I removed the stereo because it, I just had some really crap one. So I bought this and installed that. Sprayed it as well. I'll probably do it again at a later date. Uh, GTR floor mats. I literally just went on eBay and I was like, right, any floor mat that fits, I'll take. And these ones are right. I don't really like the logo too much. There's one that goes over the tunnel. I've got the original ones underneath too, the original Skyline ones, but the front ones were missing. So I had to replace them. Aircon doesn't work. I'll probably remove that. Um, it'll free up some space in the front of the car. Um, door handles I need to do. I need to replace them. They're just a bit faded from uh, sitting in the sun for God knows how many years. Um, here's the back. Yeah, I'll replace those uh, trims that go around the window so it looks a lot cleaner now. Oh, that's my HKS. <laughs> Hot Wheels car that I bought, R32 Skyline, let's get in good light, yeah I had to pick this up, it's, it was pretty cheap and I thought oh why not, so I just, I just keep that in the car, I would like to get as much HKS stuff as I like, um, as I can, I do really like HKS, hence the, the uh, gauge holder in the glove box, which is quite nice, keeps it not sleeper but it keeps it like clean I'm not really one for like loads of gauges and crap everywhere so yeah that's that's my 1992 Nissan Skyline GTR I will try and do some more videos soon um, more content I need to do a lot of suspension work, bushes and joints and everything, because the ride is is quite harsh. Going over bumps and stuff with all the speed dumps and the potholes everywhere. So I need to do that and I need to service it. So if this video gets a good uh, gets a good amount of views and people want to see more content of this car and a couple of other cars, like a couple of my friends' cars and. Uh, my daily as well I need to do the wheel bearings on there like I said I will I'll try and push some more videos out yeah I just wanted to share uh, share my love for cars I don't know I'm like obsessed with cars it's like a, it's a joke <laughs> I could go home and just watch videos of uh, people leaving car shows like Adam A um, Adam AC and uh, Jesse Collin, um, a couple of other guys as well. That um, Emily C30 as well. I think it's Emily C30. She's got a blue, really nice blue C30. I think it's like a D5 or something. Same model as my C30. Well, obviously mine's a a two litre petrol. But yeah, such a beautiful car. I can spend hours just looking at this car. Oh, it's got Xenon lights as well. Um, so someone in Japan threw them on too, which are really nice, they're like a really nice blue. I'm trying to think of other stuff I've done. I'm always doing something to this, but my mind's gone blank. Oh, I've kept some of the like original uh, stickers in the windscreen as well. I believe this one's for like, uh, was it for servicing or tax or... Something like that. It's like a regulation or some, something. And there's one there as well. I have to look into it. Yeah, to have this, to think I've had this car nearly three years now is, is crazy. Yeah, the reason I wanted this car was uh, playing the Gran Turismo days and stuff like that. And Gran Turismo 3. Well, two, three, and four. Didn't really play the first one very much, but when I saw this car, just everyone knows the Nissan Skyline. So when I saw this, I was like, "Wow, this, I need this car. <laughs> I need one in my life." Anyone can do it, though. I'm 25. 
I have two cars. This is one of them, obviously, and I have the Volvo. People saying, like, you can't get your dream car. You can. If you work hard enough for it, you can get your car. Or any anything in that fact. If you want a house, you can get a house. You just need to work for it. Sacrifice, I sacrificed. Not going out, not going clubbing, saving money. Um, buying and selling, repairing phones and tablets and computers and laptops for people. Just saving an extra bit of money so I could get something I'm really happy with. The downside to that is I constantly worry about it. It is in a garage most of the time and it has a tracker and a, a sensor alarm, a speed alarm, everything like that, which I threw on. I got this little like tracker from Amazon. You whack a SIM card in it, uh, whack £10 on the SIM card and it'll last you like a whole year. Like, every time I get in the car, I open the door or just shake the car a little bit. It sends my phone a text saying, oh, your sensor alarm is going off. Someone might be at the car, someone might be trying to steal it or something. And a tracker too. So if you call the tracker, it'll give you, um, was it like a Google link, Google Maps link? And it'll tell you exactly where the car is and if it's moving, etc. And it was only 40 quid, so why not? So I hid that in the car. Um, you have to charge it and stuff, you have to take it out, charge it. But the battery lasts like maybe two or three months on a full charge. So um, that was excellent. So I bought that. And yeah, worrying about it. I don't park it in car parks. I don't really go shopping in it. Some people say, like, how the hell do you enjoy it then? I drive it. I take it to meets and some shows. Obviously, all the shows are cancelled or postponed at the moment. So I've been pretty stuck. So I might untax it, sawn it, and uh, start working on it a bit more. And if there are any meets or shows around, then I'll go. So, let's put this bonnet down. I couldn't believe how light the bonnet was. I believe it's aluminium. I haven't locked it though, but... Yeah, this is my car. This is my first video attempt. If you want to like like it if you want to subscribe subscribe i'm not going to beg you to subscribe subscribe if you want to see more videos comment on the video and um yeah hopefully we'll see you in the next one see you later guys